upper L. Mr. John here, is this loud enough? Probably could be a little bit louder. How about this? All right. This is my first try with the keyboard here. So last week we talked about we talked about a major scale. Okay, so the very first thing you need to remember is that music is composed with the scales, at least in the western continent of Europe, and now most of the world, of something called half steps and whole steps. There are uh, other exceptions throughout the world, but for now, most of the music you listen to on the radio has this half step, whole step thing. So a half step is when you play a note, so this is a C, and then you go up to the next note. So when I go this way, okay, I'm going higher, and when I go this way, I'm going lower. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up one half step, okay? So that is a half step, okay? So... If you look at the scale, this scale right here, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. There are two places in the scale where there are half steps. There's one here. See, there's no black key there. And there's one here. All right? That's what gives the scale this sound. Okay? So, for example, what if I put the half step in a different spot? I'm going to put it right here, in between here, these two notes. Now let's listen to it. It's going to sound different. Did you hear that? It sounded different. It didn't sound the same. It didn't sound bad, but it's not what we're accustomed to. So right now, before we make things any more complicated, we're going to just stick with the really simple thing. So this is a C scale. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. And the half step is in between the third and fourth. One, two, three, and four. It's in between three and four. And seven and eight. Three and four and seven, eight. This is in the key of C, and the key of C is what you call the natural key. So if you learn to play the keyboard in the past, they always start, well, just to get your fingers moving, they'll just do the three keys and the two keys to get your fingers to be able to play it. But then after that, you quickly go into the key of C, and that's all the white notes, the white notes. Now up here you got the Black Keys, and there's a rock band that plays blues rock called the Black Keys, which is a pentatonic scale, but we'll go into that more later. But so this is in the key of C. So in our lessons today, you're learning about something called accidentals, which are flats, which is you lower the note a half step, and a sharp which you raise it. So with a flat, you go this way, one note, and a sharp, you go this way, one note. And when I say one note, it's the adjacent note, okay? So for now, we're going to learn how to play a major scale in, an, in two other keys, okay? So remember, it's between the third and the fourth and the seventh and the eighth. So I'm going to move these for now because we're going to play a scale in the key of F. So this is a C and this is a C. The way you find a C is you make a P sign and then you put your thumb here. All right. So it's the same throughout the whole keyboard. All right. So what we're going to do is that we're going to start at C and we're going to count down five notes. So it would be do, ti, 
la so fa. So we're going to start at fa. Fa is another word for F. Okay. So you can either go up or down. So if you can go do, re, mi, fa, or do, ti, la, so, fa. And that's called an octave again. I hope you remember that. But now I'm going to go. We started going from this C to this C. Now we're going to go from this F to this F. And we're not going to add any other accidentals yet. And I'm going to see if you can tell me where it sounds wrong. Just relax and listen to it. It should sound a little bit weird. All right, so if you remember before, um, the major scale, there's half steps in between the third and the fourth and the seventh and the eighth. Okay, so let's go up to the third. Now, look between the third and the fourth here. There's a note in between. So that's not a half step. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this B. All right. And we're going to make the distance between here and the next note a half step. And what we're going to do is that we're going to take this B and we're going to flat it. Okay, so now we have a half step in between here and here. And now we skip that note. All right, so it's. Does that sound right? It, it should sound right. All right, so now, just like in the key of C, we had a half step in between the third and the fourth and the seventh and the eighth. So let's count one, two, three, four, half step, five, six, seven, eight. Now we didn't have to do anything to here, okay, because there was already a half step there. All right. I hope that makes sense. Now this is the first time you're seeing it, so if you don't get it, just imagine you're going on a trip and you only remember a few things on your trip. And the next time we go on the trip, let's see if we can remember more. So we started with the key of C, this one. And then we went to the key of F. All right, so if you remember from last week, the three major chords in the key of C were C, F, and think it if you know it, if you're at home, say it, G. All right, so now we're going to play a G major scale. So G is either up five notes, do, re, mi, fa, so, 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 and G are the same note. So, so. To get to G, you can either go up five notes or down four. Do, do, ti, la, so. Okay, so here is our G here and G here. Now, one thing that will make you quicker, if you notice that both F and G are in the house of the three black keys, all right? So if you're trying to get your way around, this is part of going on a trip. Just make these, notice these little small things and next time it'll make more sense. So um, three black keys here and then F and G, okay? So now I want you to listen and you tell me if this sounds weird. It should because it's not correct. But we're looking for half steps in between the third and fourth and seventh and eighth. Now this sounds right. To me, that is right. Look. So we got a half step in between here and here. All right, in between our B and C. So we didn't have to do anything there, okay? But let's look what happens when we get up to our seventh. 
Oh, look, that's not a half step. Okay. So our F and our G, it's supposed to be a half step, it's, but it's not. Okay. And the reason it sounds wrong is because it's not a half step. So we're going to take this F and we're going to turn it into an F sharp. So we're going to raise it up just like that. Okay. So now it should sound right. So it's do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. So that's the first lesson in a major scale. We played three major scales. We played one in C. F. there is no sharps or flats in the key of F you have a B flat in the key of G you have an F sharp all right thank you I have more stuff for you to do but this is just part of it so keep keep looking